Hello there. Today you've tuned in to check out a video on our classroom standard 8. We're in Oregon and the standard for our state is using sample data to make predictions regarding a population. So this is the standard we're testing on. Let's take a look at a problem I made up for it. Zoom out. Mr. Snurd won 500 Pop-Tarts on the Let's Make a Deal game show. He is spreading joy and happiness by giving some away every day. What I'd like you to do now is pause the video. I'm going to move this up so you can see all of the questions that go along with this. I'd like you to pause the video, write the questions down, copy the data table, and then answer all the questions that you can. When you're finished, play the video and I will work through every aspect of this problem and hopefully that will help you be better prepared for testing on standard eight. All right, so hit pause. Welcome back through the magic of technology. Here we are. First, we need to fill in this data table. Then we can answer the questions. We need to see some kind of a pattern happening now. Now, based on the table, we see all the x values are the days, the y values equal how many Pop-Tarts he has left on any given day. And right now, he has 184 Pop-Tarts. We need to see some kind of a pattern going. There's a couple of ways to do this. First of all, we can see that four days and negative 16 Pop-Tarts. That means in four days, he'll have 16 less than he does now. We could even go the other way here. Three days ago, he had 12 more Pop-Tarts than he has now. We could do this with any value in the data table, but what we're trying to establish here is what's the pattern. And you'll notice both of these fractions, if we reduce them, both reduce to a negative 1 over 4, meaning each day that passes, he is, we're going to put the negative sign down there. Each day that passes, he gives away four Pop-Tarts. Or if we're going backwards in time, each day ago, he had four more than he has now. No matter how you look at it, the pattern is four Pop-Tarts going away every day. So after one day, we're going to have four less, right? Minus four. Here we have... 24 Pop-Tarts going away. If we divide that by 4 every day, that'll tell us how many days are happening here. That's minus 6 days. So, that's 10 days from now. He'll have 144 left. Let's go the other way. Let's go back in time. Here we have a difference of 20. And since we know that he's losing four a day, well, actually gaining four a day as he goes backwards in time, this means it's going to be five days earlier than it was already. So negative five and negative three is negative eight. So that's eight days ago is what that number means. And then finally, we have a difference of 12 here, 12 more negatives going that way. And if there's... 12 negatives, and he had four more every day going backwards. That's 48 more than he has now. That's 264. Okay, so we've got the table filled in just simply based on the pattern of four every day. As we go forward in time, we're losing four every day. As we look back in time, of course, he has more every day. So the numbers are going to go up as we go in a negative value back in time and the numbers will go down as we continue to go forward in time. So an equation that represents this situation is, and I'm going to say what it means as I write it, the total number of Pop-Tarts is what he has today, then he's giving away four every day after that. There's the equation. So the minus sign the Y means total Pop-Tarts. 
equals means is. 184 is what he has now. The minus sign means he's giving away. This is how many. And the x is each day. And we know the word each means to multiply. Okay, that's breaking down the equation for you. Now we can answer these questions quite easily. On what day will he run out of Pop-Tarts? When he runs out of Pop-Tarts, that means y equals zero. Okay, Pop-Tarts is y, run out means there's none left. So we take the equation and we put a zero in there instead of y. And now we just solve it. We're going to get the x's on one side, the numbers on the other. So in this case, I'm going to add 4x to both sides. Gives me 4x equals 184. I'm just going to carry that up here so you can see all the work. Divide both sides by 4. And the answer is 46. But as we know in algebra, every answer means something for a situation. So in this case, x equals 46 days from now, he runs out, right? That means he'll have zero Pop-Tarts in 46 days. Always remember to make your answers, your equations mean something. Not because I'm the mean teacher that makes you do extra work, but it helps you get answers that make sense and it's a way for you to check your work. Does this answer make sense? Does it answer the question? And in this case, of course it does. How many days ago did he win 500 Pop-Tarts? So our answer is going to be in terms of X and this is our Y value. So it's going to look just like question 3. We're going to go 500 Pop-Tarts and we set it equal to the expression that represents how many Pop-Tarts on any given day. We're going to take away 184 from both sides. Just 316 leaves nothing over here but a negative 4x. I'm just going to carry this up here because I didn't plan my space as well as I could. We divide both sides by negative 4. x equals negative 79. What does it mean for this situation? Does this make sense? It means the negative means ago or in the past, right? So this means 79 days ago is when he won the Pop-Tarts. He won them 79 days ago. And the key thing here is the word ago it means negative, right? That means in the past, days ago. That's going to mean a negative x value, just like we got for our answer. And one final question. Of course, I could make up 50 questions based on this table, but the point is you understand that we're substituting because we know what all the variables mean here. How many Pop-Tarts? So that means our answer is going to be y equals something. Two weeks ago, that means x are days. How many days is that? 14, right? Because there's seven days in each week. All right, so this time we're going to go y equals, because we don't know what y equals. That's the question. What we have today, taken away 4, but here's that word ago. means I'm going to have a negative 14 there. Here's that word ago. Make sure you get that. Ago means use a negative number. An easy mistake to make on this problem would just be to put a 14 in there because you know it's 14 days. The word ago means that's negative. Okay. Let's finish it off. Negative 14 and negative 4 makes a positive 56. And then that adds up to 240. Our answer is in terms of Y or in terms of Pop-Tarts. 240 Pop-Tarts. Let's actually go up to the table and take a look at that. Because that means our value would be 14 days and 240 Pop-Tarts if that was going into our table. Let's see if that fits up there. 
negative 14, right? Negative 14 would fit in here between negative 8 and negative 20. And our answer, 240, also fits right in there. So our answer makes sense for the situation. It looks like it would fit in the table. If we had room to add that, it would go. And it would look like that, right? We'd have our negative 20 here and 264. And we'd have our negative 8 there and our 216. And our answer fits right in. Okay, that's it. How did your work check out? Hopefully it checked out great. If it didn't, it's easy enough for you to make up <clears throat> your own problem like this. Just make up a table, use a calculator, and then erase some of your answers and make up a question or a situation, all right? That's all I've got for you. Hope you enjoyed this, and most importantly, I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.